QuickBooks Online 2024 Navigation Overview and Company Settings. Get ready and some coffee because we're diving into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Online 2024. Here we are online in our Get Great Guitars 2024 QuickBooks Online sample company file that we set up in a prior presentation. Remembering that when we are in our actual company file, represented by this company file here, it might still be useful to have open at the same time the QuickBooks Online test file so that we can use it as a sandbox testing out transactions in it before we put them into our actual company file. That leads to the question then, how can I open the QuickBooks Online test drive file at the same time that we have open our actual company file. The first thought that would come to mind would be, well, I'll just add a new tab here and then we'll search for the QuickBooks Online test drive. However, sometimes QuickBooks could have a problem with that because then we would have two company files that are open in the same browser, possibly using the same account. So an easier way to go might be then to either open another browser, we're currently in or I am in the uh, Google Chrome, so we could open something like Firefox, or we can open up the incognito window. So the incognito window in Google Chrome can be found with the three dots up top. Most other browsers have some form of incognito window that you can find as well. And then we can open a new uh, incognito window and you can see here that it says incognito and then we can type in our QuickBooks Online test drive. So this is the easiest way I think to find it. Searching for QuickBooks Online test drive, looking for the result that has Intuit.com in the URL, Intuit being the owner of QuickBooks. Here's the test drive. And then we can go into the United States version of it and verify that we're not a robot. And so I'm going to continue. I'm going to close up this first tab. And by doing that, I can actually have these two things open at the same time. Here's the sample company file representing our actual file. Here's the test drive file, also a sample company file, but this is the Craig Designs and Landscaping. This file already has stuff in it. It already has reports generated. It already has a chart of accounts that is inactive and is being used, whereas this file has just been created from scratch, doesn't have anything in it. So if you're imagining that you're actually using your company file and you have transactions that you're not fully comfortable with, you might have this one open, test out the transaction over here before you actually put it into your company file. Noting that if you try to open this up in the same browser, then again, you could have problems with it. The, the idea of the incognito or separate browser would be you don't have the cookies in it already. So QuickBooks is not going to try to open it with your actual account. It's going to be opened with the default, uh, basically, account and hopefully not cause you any problems to have both windows open at the same time. So for now, I'm going to put that in another screen. That's just a tool that you want to be aware of all the time. Last time we set up this company file from scratch, so there's nothing in it. We haven't done any data input. We haven't adjusted the chart of accounts as of yet. We haven't entered any items, inventory or service items, customers or vendors, or any beginning balances. When you first set up the file, QuickBooks will often give you this checklist here, which can be useful, but over time, this homepage that you first open is one of the most changeable things that QuickBooks Online has. Meaning uh, QuickBooks Online, because it's a web-based software, will vary the look and feel of the page a lot, a lot more than QuickBooks Desktop, which can be good because in theory, they're trying to maximize the look and feel of the website interface for users. However, in practice, I think most likely you have different developers that basically are, even if you have the optimal output, or the optimal website, they would still change it because that's what developers do. So the website's probably gonna be changing all the time. However, the use of the software will be in essence the same because it's simply the double entry accounting system. So we're not gonna spend a whole lot of time going through uh, the checklist here. 
we're just going to go through basically the setup process, which which would probably be the same no matter what kind of the, the, the checklist that they give you. So uh, let's just do a quick look at these, those. So here's the basic business uh, information. You covered all your basics. This helps you, you get through there, get ready to invoice. So this is going to be your invoicing process. They're probably going to try to upsell you on uh, using the QuickBooks checking so you can you can pay through the checking, which we have another course or section on. You will recall that we had some of these items in the setup process as we went through the interview process, in essence, with the setup, get paid online. So this is one of those things where they're trying to have you use uh, possibly the, the QuickBooks payments again to get paid faster but it might be an upsell type of situation we have another course or section on that if you want to look at it in more detail uh, organize expenses start tracking your expenses uh, link business accounts so this is the bank feeds we'll talk about the bank feeds we have a whole course or section on that payroll has its own area uh, to set up so we'll talk about that a little bit here in future presentations with this practice problem we have whole other course or sections in payroll because it's its own it's its own animal it's got its own uh stuff which is quite detailed uh get the free mobile app and so this is their mobile app to snap and scan receipts that we also saw through the interview process so we can get into those items here we can also get into these items through other areas as well so if you don't use this checklist that's okay we can get to all we could turn on the bank feeds by going to the banking section and we can do all these things from other locations as well now the other big thing that has changed over time is that they've been changing this ribbon on the left hand side and uh, uh classically it's looked like this this is kind of similar to what it started with at the beginning and then s some developers i think were thinking it would be nice to move away from the idea of formal accounting language and try to appeal to people possibly that are small businesses that 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 want a more casual kind of interface on the left hand side uh, i think there's pros and cons to that however because it sound it starts to sound a little bit like uh like accountants that use the formal language might not like that meaning they, they might feel like they're not very appreciated that you're kind of using very you know the casual terms so i think they actually left that because most of the people using quickbooks are probably accountants and bookkeepers who have learned these professional terms right so what i mean is if we go to this cog up top we have the switch to the business view down here now if i switch to this business view and i look at this this screen on the left switching to the business view we no longer have a huge difference between the business view and the accountant view before they changed things like like the sales area here uh which i might call a customer center or something like that they changed it to get paid or something like that and they they, this, they changed this one to pay out or or pay someone out or something and so they changed these terms to really casual terms they had a pretty interesting interface over here once you went into those windows but i think those those terms they did an a b testing they had the two these two formats and it looks to me like the more traditional format won out between their a b testing